Hello, Aquarius viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading, so it's whatever the cards want to say. Um, I'm just getting back on YouTube. I've been off for quite a while, so if this resonates, I'd really appreciate you guys liking the video, commenting, even just leaving a heart comment below. It helps me get back in the YouTube algorithm. And as always, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com, and my email is it's right below in the description box. So let's see what the cards want to say. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, Oops, sorry, Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like you know what you deserve. Like, I feel like you're somebody who's normally very confident, but I feel like there's a situation, and I'm going to get more into it, could be about love, could be about work, but there's a situation that's made you feel stagnant, made you feel like not yourself, made you feel um, kind of insecure. Like there's some something or someone that's getting in your head and kind of making you feel insecure and blocked here. So we'll get more into it. But the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands together, you know, Six of Pentacles is all about balance. It's it's mutual give and take. And with the Queen of Wands, like you see how confident this person is, male or female. It's like, like you know that you deserve the world. You know that you deserve good things. But I feel like you're in a situation. Now, this could be that you're just really in love with somebody who's emotionally unavailable and I mean, it happens sometimes, like, you probably genuinely, you know, usually like emotionally available people, but sometimes you just, you know, you just happen to end up falling in love with somebody who doesn't really have their shit together, you know, somebody who's not emotionally available, you know, it is what it is. Or this could be like a work situation where it's like, you know, you deserve a promotion or you deserve more, but you're not really getting it. But, but yeah, like, naturally, you are very confident. Like, you do see yourself as a king or queen of wands. You do know that you deserve this balance. You deserve to give the same energy that you're putting in, but you feel like you're not getting it. Two of Swords, it's kind of like a Nine of Swords, too. It's like you want to start over, but you feel, you just feel stuck. It's like there's anxiety. There's just being in your head, just feeling stagnant. Let's get more into this. Strength. Six of Cups temperance yeah i feel like this is knight of swords three of wands queen of swords i feel like this is a situation where it's like it's really sad because it's like you want to be vulnerable in this person but you're in a position where you have to be strong you know you strengthen the queen or king of swords it's like you have to be strong you have to be assertive you you can't this could be you know this is like a job it's like you just want to be in an environment where you can thrive but you're you, maybe your boss is toxic or you're just not able to be creative in the environment you're in but I feel like you have a very gentle soul like I feel like it doesn't come naturally to you to be the queen or king of swords I feel like you're more of like a lover than a fighter like you want to be in that I mean, you're probably confident and feisty, don't get me wrong, but I feel like you would prefer to be in that gentle, vulnerable energy. Like, you don't want to have to be this person. You don't want to have to be in a position where you have to, you know, give someone an ultimatum or tell someone off or, you know, whatever it might be. And so it's taking a lot of strength to, to have to be in this position that's not coming naturally to you. But I feel like you're feeling nostalgic, and with the temperance card, it's like you're trying to find that balance. You're trying to find that balance between, you know, being vulnerable and being gentle, but not being taken for granted, not not losing yourself to that energy. Tell me more about this situation. Like what is the there's an imbalance here. So what is what is the situation? Eight of Wands, King of Swords. King of Wands. Interesting. 
Four of Swords, Queen of Cups. I'm going to pull some more cards to clarify this energy. King of Cups. Okay, wow, you have three different kings here. Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. The Sun, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. For some of you, I feel like this could be more than one person that you're trying to get over. For a lot of you, though, I feel like this is, because this is about healing right here. And I feel like this is actually you, how do I explain this? It's like you're trying to get over this person has different like aspects of their personality and I feel like that's caused you a lot of pain in the past and you're trying to heal from different aspects of their personality of things that they've done. So like King of Swords might be, King of Swords can be very direct, very to the point, um, almost aggressive at times. So I feel like there's, there's that aspect where, and also very emotionally unavailable. Just somebody who's very logical, just not in touch with their emotions. The King of Wands is... No, it's usually positive, but it can also be somebody who's, I mean, they're very passionate, they're very fiery, but they might be kind of caught in colds. So it's like you're healing from this, these different aspects of this person. I feel like you hoped that you guys would match each other because naturally you're the queen of cups or the king of cups. And so I feel like you hoped that you two would be, you know, this power couple, this queen or king of cups, like together, and you're healing from that. You're, you're seeing them as more like a king of swords type. You're, you're looking back on the past, on the traumas, and you're trying to heal from that. And going forward, I feel like you're putting yourself first and you're focusing on being the queen or king of pentacles. You're focusing on abundance, on manifesting something. And if this is about work, I feel like this could be maybe two specific employers or, or co-workers or people that have kind of wronged you, that you're, you're moving on from that. And your, you know, manifesting new work opportunities. The last reading I did, I was getting that you're basically you're uh, learning like universal secrets to manifestation. Like you're learning how to get in tune with that energy into alignment. And so I feel like that's you know you're kind of doing some healing here, and you are focused on that. You're transitioning away from this person who wasn't giving you the energy you wanted and needed. And you're focusing more on yourself and more on manifesting this Ten of Pentacles. And you do have that coming. Like when you become this, you're going to balance these energies. You're going to find a balance between being the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles or King of Cups and King of Pentacles, you know, male or female. But it's like you're learning. It, it's like you're becoming a new person. Like you're, you're, you're rediscovering a new aspects of yourself or maybe suppressed aspects of yourself with the queen of pentacles here and you're just moving forward like you're not as focused on love you're more focused on you know manifesting what you want and you have the ten of pentacles so you have this abundance coming in like you are manifesting you know whatever it is that you want you are getting into that alignment um for those of you that wanted more of a love reading let me get into this old person though because it feels like somebody who um because in that last reading, I also, I was getting the energy of an ex wanting to reach out and message you, but they were afraid that you were going to reject them. And so I think for a lot of you, this person where there was just this imbalance, it's probably that person where it's like, they're wanting to reach out. They're wanting to say something, but you know, they're just, they're not sure how you're going to take it. They're not sure if you're going to be open to it. So let's get a little bit into that too. Because it's like, you know that you deserve more. You know that you deserve that balance. Even if you love this person, because I do still see a lot of pain here. It's like you are, you know, you had this dream about, you know, you the two of you being the queen and king of cups together. And, but now you're like, you're looking back and you're seeing how emotionally unavailable this person was. And so it's like you feel like whenever you think about them, it just causes pain. So you have no choice but to try to, you know, focus more on yourself and on the things that you want to manifest because, you know, thinking about them just, you know, hurts so much. And it's not saying that you're like over this person, but it's just saying basically it's like 
you're trying not to get lost in that depression or in that sadness. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to find that balance. You're trying to, to hold space for this person, but, you know, stay afloat too and keep manifesting your goals in the meantime. Even if some part of you is waiting for them to come back around and to transition from this to being a king or queen of cups, it's like you're still, you're, you're not willing to put your life on hold anymore, you know? You want to manifest this Ten of Pentacles energy. But let's look more into how is this person feeling about you? Death, the Hanged Man, the Seven of Cups, Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, they're... I think that they're recognizing, I think before this person might have, you guys might have miscommunicated because it feels like a situation, um, when I'm getting from these cards, it, it's almost like, because you're at that point where you're like looking back and you're thinking about how, you know, emotionally unavailable this person was. And you are genuinely like a confident, loving, empathetic person. And you know what you deserve. Like we got the, what was it? Like the six of wands and the uh, queen of wands. You know, those are like the first two cards. So it's like you are confident. You do know that you deserve that, you know, mutual energy. Basically, you match energy. You're going to you're gonna give this person what they're giving you. So you're not going to message them if they're not messaging you regularly. You're not going to, you know express feelings to them unless they're expressing their feelings to you first you know what I mean like you're protecting your energy more because I'm just getting the sense of somebody that was very vulnerable but it's like now you're you feel like you like it's not safe to be vulnerable with this person like they'll take it for granted or they'll just not reciprocate so it, it's kind of like you're you're kind of learning you you have like a new perspective almost where you're you're all about matching energy now And I think this person might have misunderstood that. Like, I think it was a situation, I don't want to say you were playing hard to get, but I think it was a situation where you thought they weren't interested in you and they thought the same thing about you is kind of the energy I'm getting. Where this person might not be good at picking up the signs or they just I feel like there was just some kind of misunderstanding there is kind of what I'm feeling. Because I feel like your perspective shifted, but this person wasn't aware of that. Does that make sense? Like, it's almost like maybe in the past you were like the queen or king of cups and you were just very vulnerable, super, you know, loving, empathetic all the time. You would always reach out first. You would always um, express your feelings first. You would always, you know, be the one to make plans for, for the two of you. You you'd always be the one to step into like kind of like a masculine role and like fix things or, you know, make it, you'd, you'd always be the one making the effort basically. And I think you stopped doing that because you, you know, you love yourself, you have that confidence and you, you realize that it wasn't being reciprocated, that there wasn't a mutual give and take. You were just, you're naturally the queen of cups and you had to basically be in like a masculine role and it wasn't coming naturally to you. You know what I mean? Like you wanted to be in like a feminine role. And the feminine, you know, don't get me wrong. The feminine is just as powerful as the masculine. But the masculine energy is like, you know, more action oriented, you know, goes out and does things. Whereas the feminine energy, it's it's just as strong, but it's it's more receptive. It's it's the, the feminine energy calls that energy to them. They don't go out and get it. They It comes to them. And so I feel like for a long time with this person, you had to be in a masculine role in the sense of you had to be the dominant one. You had to, you had to be the one taking action, you know, saying, saying, th you know, speaking first. And then I think you just got to a point where you're like, screw this. Like, you know, I love myself. I, I, I deserve more than this. I do not want to be in the masculine role. I want to be in the feminine role. I want to be in the receptive role. And I feel like you've just made that conscious decision like, hey, I'm going to stay in the feminine role. I'm not going to like I'm the queen of cups. I'm not going to be the queen and king of cups. I'm not going to be the king of cups for you. I'm, I'm just the queen of cups. I'm staying in that energy. And you can either step up and be the king of cups and match me and be in that masculine role or, 
you know, it's not going or, or it's just not going to end up going anywhere. But you're not willing to be the king of cups anymore. You're staying in, in your role as the queen of cups. Even if you're, you, you know, you could be a man that's in a feminine energy. That's fine too. You know what I mean? Either way, you know, don't get caught up on gender. But, um, but yeah, any, anyway, it, it, so it's like, you, you know, you made that conscious decision to, to, to be in that queen of cups role. And I don't think this person understood that energetic shift. I feel like they just thought like, oh, like this person's not reaching out anymore. Like they're not making plans anymore. They're not like, they were kind of oblivious. Like they're, you know what I mean? They were just kind of like, like, why aren't they messaging me? Why aren't they, you know, trying to see me? Why aren't they expressing their feelings anymore why aren't they doing that like why aren't they doing all the stuff they did before and they weren't really aware of like the in internal process that you were going through where you know maybe they thought that 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 energy was was okay with you where you were in the the masculine role and they were in the feminine feminine role maybe they they thought that that was just fine that you liked being in that role but I, th I think you didn't and I think that over time it built up to the point where, you know, like I said, you were just like, screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be in the masculine role anymore. I'm going to be the queen of cups. You can either step up and get in that masculine role and match my energy, or it's just not, it's just not happening, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be in the masculine energy anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like they weren't aware of that, that energetic process that you went through you know, they felt like that energy was okay. They felt like you were okay with, with those, the, the energetic roles that the two of you were in. Like maybe they didn't realize how upsetting that was for you. Um, but, but yeah, it, it's like, you've just kind of changed your perspective, you know, and you're matching energy more now. So it's like, you might still love this person, but you're, you're not going to go to them. You're going to let them come to you if they want you. You're going to let them be in the masculine role. Um, you're just basically matching energy. You're going to give them whatever they're giving you. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like this person didn't recognize that. They just thought, they just saw the energetic change. They just saw that you weren't trying as hard. So they assumed that you were basically just over it when really you were just trying to change the... Um, the patterns that you guys were stuck in and you were trying to get them to be in that more assertive, more dominant masculine role, you know, but, but they're realizing that now I feel like their, their perspective has changed and they're realizing like, Hey, the connection doesn't have to be over. Like, like, you know, I wasn't being rejected and they're, they're making this choice now. It's like Son of Cups is about making choices. It's, it's opening, you know, hanged man, like opening your mind up new perspectives Death is about like transformation endings. Um, four of cups reversed. It's like they're coming out of that stagnant energy. And, and seven of cups too can also be, it's making choices, but I, it's also somebody who's deep in thought. And so I feel like this person is having a perspective shift where they're finally, they're having that aha moment where they're like, oh, wait a minute. Like I wasn't being rejected. Like this person just wants me to be in a masculine role. They want me to do some the pursuit and they want me to express feelings for a change. They don't want to have to take all the weight of the relationship on themselves, you know? And so they're recognizing that they might actually still have a chance with you if they if they can step up like that, you know? And so they're coming out of that stagnant energy. They're having these epiphanies. Ace of Cups is a new start in love with this person, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, because honestly, there's there's an ending here with this person if they continue to the same patterns. Like if they continue to wait, if they continue to um like it doesn't work for both of you to be in the feminine role. You know what I mean? So if they refuse to step up, if they keep waiting for you to come to them if they keep being in that feminine role if they keep being stubborn and holding on to their comfort zone there's going to be a painful ending here and this could be your spirit guides bringing you somebody new it could just be just you know fading away from each other over time because they're not doing anything but yeah if they're in the emperor if they get in that daddy energy there's hope the star the emperor is like the daddy card you know what i mean um that is like 
that's masculine energy, assertive, dominant, like goes at, you know, the emperor goes after what he wants. It's one of those things where you weren't, you weren't telling this, you weren't, you were never rejecting this person. You were just saying, hey, like, try harder, stupid, you know? Um, but yeah, I think this person's recognizing too, look at how like the emperor is looking at this for a pentacles, ten of swords energy. They're like, oh, like, wait a minute. Like this ending took place. It didn't need to take place. This ending took place because I was holding on to my comfort zone because, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't know how to be in a dominant energy or I didn't know how to be in that, that emperor role. I didn't know how to step up. And this is why this, you know, it's like this ending wasn't necessary. Um, and they're recognizing that now and they're recognizing too, like I said, if they, if they step up and they can be in the emperor energy and they can be assertive and go after, go after what they want, which is you, then, you know, you're going to reciprocate the star. Because the star is all about hope. Hope, healing, faith, renewed relationship. The higher fun is marriage, so possibly even marriage with this person. Two of Pentacles, finding that balance. Seven of Pentacles, patience, perseverance. What's the Five of Cups doing here? Yeah, with the wheel and the five of cups and the ace of wands, it's like wrapping up old, wrapping up the old cycles, wrapping up whatever was blocking you guys from being together. The empress, six of wands, ace of swords, clarity, communication, you know, this is like the ultimate power couple. You know, the emperor is all four kings combined. The empress is all four queens combined. This is like the ultimate power couple. So they're recognizing like, they're recognizing what their role needs to be. They're recognizing the energy that they need to be in if they want to get you back, if they want to win you back. They recognize that, you know, being in the feminine role and just waiting for you to come to them isn't working anymore. You're not doing it anymore. Um, and so a lot of them, I feel like, are stepping up and being the emperor to match your empress energy. You, you know, see how she's just like, she's not going after shit. She's just, she's just hanging out. She's just... Whatever comes to her, you know, this is this is about nature too. It's like natural cycles. It's like whatever comes to her, she's going to open up to you. Whatever wants to go can go. Um, so he's stepping up and coming to you is what I'm feeling. Because there's clarity, communication, new starts. Also wanting to uh, make this connection public too. So um, yeah, it, it is really good energy. It is really good energy overall. Just keep doing what you're doing. And, and again... You know, stay in the energy that you want to be in. Don't, like a queen doesn't get off her throne and, and try to convince convince the king to, to step up and, and be brave and assertive and be the king and take his throne next to her. Like, the queen doesn't do that. She sits in her throne and she knows that the person that deserves her is going to step up and be in that throne next to her. You know what I mean? So you just keep sitting in your throne and basically just keep doing you just keep focusing on yourself male or female you know don't get caught up on gender like i said this could be a male too where you're you're waiting for your your empress you know but um either way yeah you're it, it keep doing what you're doing um yeah it's 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 good energy overall so anyway thank you guys for watching if this resonates please uh comment like share subscribe and uh thanks